There are reasons I try to avoid doing videos reacting to pet channels and showing the awful I find. It's because I get so disgusted by monkeys being pets. But to see monkeys as pets with awful owners makes me both disgusted and mad and my disdain for these scenarios and the owners may be shown a bit. Because of YouTube's guidelines, I will refrain from saying anything derogatory though. I could come up with several names for this man, Dad would not be one of them. But first, let me emphasize this. These are my opinions. You are welcome to form your own opinions and let me know in the comments what you think. I'm sure there are many of you more privy to this channel's history than I am. This is why I'm calling this video a reaction. Please don't go and harass anyone, as this does not help bring awareness to these issues on social media. First, what I notice and gather from the titles of this channel, that it's a person with a pet stump-tailed macaque seeking donations. These titles exploit many various ailments and injuries. Also this man performs medical treatment. Here you can see he's promoting his PayPal. Why say, if you want to send gifts, with a link to his PayPal, when PayPal is essentially a cash app? Sure buddy. It appears like he has or has had, many stump-tailed macaques that he calls Chloe. I'm seeing several monkeys at different ages being posted around the same time. One monkey for sure, isn't who he calls Chloe, and I can prove this. I have so many questions and this just makes me wonder why is there this manipulation towards his audience? Did something happen to former monkeys and he doesn't want his audience to know? If so, why? Is it because he has more than one stump-tailed macaque as pets and doesn't want people to know? I want to know what happened to this monkey he calls Chloe. As I would say I'd prove it, here's the thumbnail clearly calling this monkey Chloe. You can see why this is not Chloe, even if you never seen the channel before. I don't have to point out the obvious for you to see that this is a male. But before anyone blows this off as something like his toe, here's another angle. What about this poor monkey? What happened to her? Honestly, I'd hate to find out how this happened and what happened to her afterwards, since there aren't many videos of her and the videos quickly jump from her to the male we just previously seen. Given what I've also seen on this channel, in my opinion, the fate of this monkey doesn't look good and although I can't say for sure, but I don't think this monkey is ever seen again. What do you think the rash is caused from? Throughout this channel, there's a few saving monkey videos that look entirely staged in my opinion. It's like he knew right away that there was a letter. I mean, if someone just dropped off and left me a monkey outside my door. My concern would be on the monkey first not a piece of paper. Not to mention he knew to record this exact moment he found the cage. I'm sorry I had to take out the sound because of his children's lullaby, dramatic, piano music was in this video, just like it is in most videos. Notice that this monkey seems more concerned about being thrown back into the crate than the human holding onto her? Oh, and look, she wants to cling on, and doesn't cry after. It's as if she already knows him. Not only does his fake BS disgust me, his fingernails does too. Good grief cut those before filming. I just see demon claws petting that traumatized baby monkey. Now, does that look like a baby monkey that doesn't know who this human is? Here's another monkey he's calling Chloe with a fake staging of rescue. It's clear that she knows him. The creator uses awful music to make the situation seem happy or sad. It's always the same two songs for theatrical show.
How fake this man is, makes me want to puke. Now, I will show you a couple of the things that I found that were completely neglectful. I can say this with certainty. I just can't say for certain if it's intentional or unintentional but, I have reason to believe that nothing this man does is unintentional. Because otherwise, why would there be videos dedicated to this obvious neglect? Allowing a monkey to chew on this, how nice. <laughs> These are the sweets he's about to feed to this monkey. I'm not sure, but that looks like maybe some chocolate. Monkeys cannot digest chocolate. It won't kill them, but it hurts their stomach, makes them bloated, and can cause diarrhea. Also, monkeys are very susceptible of getting diabetes. The fruit we eat as humans are far more sweeter than what they eat in the wild, making it already like candy. But to give them something like this is plain negligent. It doesn't seem like she likes it. The title of this video said they are giving this monkey chocolate. It looks something like a cookie you dip into chocolate and vanilla frosting. I wonder how much he enjoyed changing her diaper after that. Here this man is staging a video where he says Chloe is missing. He really shouldn't take up acting. He'll fail instantly and be booed off stage. He's so sad he says. If he wasn't trying to conjure up sympathy from his viewers, why would he even record this? I think this is the video of him fake finding her. Let's look at some of these ailments and injuries. I'm pretty sure that if this were a human child and there was this many injuries and ailments as much as this man likes to claim, teachers would suspect abuse. I'm only going to show a few but there's countless videos of this same material. There's something supposedly wrong with her face. It looks like razor burn or something. But not sure what he's pointing at exactly. I suspect maybe it's razor burn based on this video. Here he is pretending she has worms because of her big belly, giving her some kind of powder thing that she doesn't appear to really like. In my last video about stump-tailed macaques, you will see them in the wild with their belly like this. I'm not really sure why they get like this. But I really do think it has something to do with what they're eating or how much. Based on my last video of stump-tailed macaques, it appears to be a normal occurrence for these monkeys. He makes so many videos about this belly, even brings her to a vet for an ultrasound, and shaves her belly. Sometimes it's larger than other times. Then funny enough, I think I found him outing himself. Here's the same shaved belly but not bloated. This is where he outs himself by making this video on his sister account with the title, so here's the reason. What causes baby monkey to have bloated belly? The video is of him encouraging her to engorge on coconut, which is high in fats and sugar. Coconuts is not what these monkeys eat in the wild.
Here he's showing a monkey with oral thrush, which isn't something baby monkeys get in the wild. However, it's common in human babies. How he treats this monkey for this oral thrush makes me mad. These are the two things he uses. According to Venmec.com, oracortia is a synthetic glucocorticoid containing fluorine, which works to slow down the progression, prevent the spread of inflammatory reactions such as burning pain, swelling or blistering. Therefore, the drug is often used to relieve burning pain in canker sores, gingivitis, and oral ulcers, to eliminate discomfort. It also says to not use oracortia for fungal infections. In case you didn't know, thrush is a fungal infection. They go on to say the drug is easily absorbed even when applied to the skin, so it should be used sparingly. Extreme caution should be exercised when oracortia is used by pregnant or lactating women. Do not use this medicine for children under 1 years old without a doctor's prescription. Those are the direction for humans, so I'm sure this is not recommended for a tiny baby monkey. The other item he uses is not marked. I don't know why he is hiding the label with a piece of tissue, which seems very suspicious to me. The closest thing I could find that it could be is gentian violet, which is an antifungal antibacterial antiseptic with dyes in it. Some people use it on human babies. However, it says on thrushtreatmentcenter.com that gentian violet may be used in treating toddlers. It's best not to use it with babies younger than 12 months, because it can cause blisters in the mouth. It's not as effective as other antifungal treatments, it's not the best way to treat thrush, and you should consult with your doctor before using it. Those are the advisories for human babies, not a tiny little baby monkey. So he's using one medication to help with lesions of the mouth but not used for fungal infections, along with giving the monkey something that can cause lesions of the mouth. That seems like prolonging the symptoms to me and not helping it. Is that what he's going for? Is that why he's hiding the bottle? Again with the dragon claws. That is so stupid, not cute. What if he were to get that stuff in the monkey's eye? He's a dimwit. You can see here that that liquid is seeping into a tissue. Oh, that's a great idea. Feed the baby monkey sugary milk with a fungal infection. That's nutritious. I left the worst for last. Remember in the beginning of this video I told you that the first video I saw on this channel told me everything I need to know? Well now I'll show you what I found. Did you see that? I'll slow motion it. She spazzes out as soon as she feels her toes between that stapler. Well now he is going to show the injuries on her foot, that he's going to give, treatment. Again, I have to take out the music. I don't know if it's copyright.
Let me pause here and let me discuss this foot. Here you can see two parallel dots. Also notice the toes that have nearly red line across them. Here's another angle of the toes, it actually looks like there's an imprint mark on them. Look at how hot that water is. There's steam on the sides of that dish. That's all he adds for cold water. Who knows how long he makes this poor monkey stand like that. Look at this part of the thumbnail. This is the clickbait he made and that is what he's acting he found on her foot. Well it was something that clamps down but that wasn't it. I'm disgusted by this acting as if he cares after seeing how these occur. Anyone who thinks he is being a good dad is being scammed, in my opinion. That is what exploiting monkeys looks like.